Last time on My Hero Academia Vigilantes, the heroes finally arrived on the scene to help out Koichi in the fight against the gigantic energy villain number 6. But, with the various people of his neighborhood cheering him on, that just instigates number 6 even more against his fight with Koichi, as Koichi has gained everything that number 6 has ever wanted, and thus number 6 in retaliation has sent out miniature versions of himself that'll explode on contact. With even more lives in danger, how will our heroes save the day now? Let's find out. Got a nearby restaurant or something? Or cafe? Um, boss? Should I box this plate up? It's from that one man's table, the guy who's always rushing off. Oh, all might, boss. We just received footage from the skies over Narahita. Narahata. Oh, did they get lights back on in Narahata? Okay, so all might's on his way. Are you folks at home seeing this? It's a villain and a colossal one at that. In the midst of the chaotic blackout, this giant villain started destroying Naruhata. At this time, we cannot accurately report on the extent of the damage and casualties. You see number six destroying buildings, and in the crowd of people running, a man in a suit runs as well. The report goes on. We're being told that the heroes responding to the crisis are currently requesting any backup they can get. My Hero Academia Vigilantes, Episode 122, Two Great Rivals. You got Ingenium coordinating with his people saying how we secured an evac evacuation route. His people say, yep, all good sir, send the evacuees this way. And then you have the people of Naruhita and the friends of Koichi and everyone helping to guide people to the evacuation route, shouting, In an orderly fashion, people, no spam stampeding. You can reach the main road by going this way. Please, follow us. Uh, you have civilians about to be hit by one of the miniature energy number sixes, but Edshot goes rushing in saying, Not on my watch! Catching the explosion with his face! The civilians shout, Edshot! But it was a substitution jutsu! <laughs> Oh, replaced with a log as Edshot manages to recover from the attack and the civilian shouting, Oh cool, thanks for that man. However, a new nearby building starts to break apart as the people shout in fear, but Best Genus is on it, sending out his fibers in order to make sure that the building does not completely collapse on top of them. However, the civilians realize that Genus has used up most of his fibers in doing so, showing off that, hmm, dang, Genus, Genus got that look. The civilians shout, Genus, your costume! But Je Best Genus, a true man's man, says, worry not, citizens, I am unbothered. <laughs> but the people are like, put some damn clothes on! The ups and downs of your ability being pretty damn good, but using your clothes to do so. Meanwhile, Koichi and Eraser are observing from a nearby building. Koichi thinks to himself, the way that squad of bombers is moving, it doesn't seem like they've got minds of their own or any sort of goals, just zipping around haphazardly. What about the real body? Where'd the guy inside go? However, as Koichi continues to search for number six, Eraser sees the civilians in danger and he goes rushing into the fray. Or is it simply that he spotted something? Oh, that's right, I honestly completely forgot. Endeavor has made the scene as he descends from one of the nearby helicopters, passing by present Mike and the heroes he came with. Endeavor is descending with his sidekick burning. Burning says, Endeavor, as they fall to the ground. It's still a chaotic mess down there. We can't attack yet. But Endeavor dismisses her and says, Open your eyes, Burning. The longer we sit back and do nothing, the more destruction we'll witness. I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Burning shocked and says, For real, Endeavor? But Endeavor says with confidence and fireballs burning in his hands, We'll roast this gang of villains, all while minimizing the damage. However... Something appears in the sky behind Endeavor, and as if he were responding to theme music playing off into the distance, Tsukauchi from the standoff point at the hospital, yeah, remember that? Remember when Tsukauchi was a thing in this manga? He says, at last, while looking to the skies, something goes rushing by Endeavor and burning, 
as Endeavor is blown to the side, as All Might has hit the streets of Naruhita. And in the time it takes for him to say, Have no fear, I, All Might has gone rushing in, striking at every one of the number six miniature villains he can spot, smashing them with a mighty blow each, as he shouts, I am here, simultaneously striking every one of the miniature number six exploding villains, sending them right up to Endeavor. Ingenium is shocked, saying he blasted all the villains into the air, and Endeavor, knowing what is expected of him, says, as brazen as ever, He'll get no thanks from me, as Endeavor energizes himself, shouting, Flash for her fist! Much to the shock of Burning and present Mike, who are a little too close to the blast radius. But Endeavor is not an amateur. He knows which direction to send his prominence burn! As he unleashes a stream of fire, towards all of the miniature number six villains, lighting up the skies of Narahata, and erasing all of the miniature villains as they explode harmlessly away from any civilians. Meanwhile, in a back alley, all for one communicate with, well, essentially the remains of number six, stating, of course, another crisis averted by All Might's meddling, leaving that all too familiar bitter taste in my mouth. The taste of defeat, All for One? You're going to know it in the main book as well. All for One continues. Still, I must commend you for your creativity. Not many could outmaneuver All Might in the eleventh hour. And now, no one can stop you. Hey, yeah, number six managed to get away. At the last second, with All Might being none the wiser, and as number six rises once more, All For One says, as of this moment, the world is your oyster, number six. So, even though all of the heroes, the best of the best, have arrived on the scene, that doesn't quite mean that this is over. Will Koichi, who is the only one who actually knew what he needed to look for, be able to stop number six? I mean... The major heroes probably think the job is done. They took out all the bigger, the minor villains, keeping damage to a minimum. But this isn't over just yet. Now this leaves me wondering, is number six evolving further? Or is it just that he won't die until you've completely erased every little bit of him? Will Endeavor and All Might even know what to look for with something like this? Can we expect more of the miniature bomb villains to just keep flowing out of number six? At nauseum, keeping the heroes busy. It feels pretty obvious that Koichi will have to be the one to come in and finish the job. I mean, it's his book after all. And Eraserhead previously, he seems to have noticed something. I thought maybe he was just going in to save civilians. Like maybe he was having a flashback to his friend who died. But I'm not sure. We didn't really get a follow-up to what he did after leaving Koichi. And I was really actually enjoying just seeing Genus and Edshot just work. We don't get too much of them despite the fact that they are major villains. I mean, major heroes in the series. And are very capable heroes. Like, seeing them in action here is just like, yeah man, these guys are fantastic. Heroes being heroes. But yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think is next for number 6? And will it be Koichi who ends up doing the finishing blow? Or is there more to it? Let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Subscribe or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. Until next time, I've been Dizdin, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye